everybody, Mr. Bone here, and we are going to be talking about week four, what I'm calling week four. Um, I'm just starting off this whole unit was week one. We did the Africa unit before spring break, then we had spring break, blah, 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 that's all done. I'm calling this whole unit uh, by the weeks. So we're talking about April 27th to May 1st is what we're talking about, if that helps at all. So, 7th grade social studies, what are we doing this week? We are having a test over the first three lessons. Good news, bad news, right? Tests, so much fun. But the good news is, that's all you have to do this week. So, if you take your time and do it right, it should take you half an hour or so to, to take the test. And after that, you're done for the week. Um, we are talking about these first three lessons. The first ones were boundaries and territories international interdependence, and then global challenges. Global challenges you should have had done last week. And um, so now we're ready to test over all that stuff. Remember, while you're testing, please take your time on the test. I'm still finding there are a few people um, on the quizzes. This is the first test we've had. But on the quizzes, I'm finding a few people who are... Um, Taking it maybe one time, and maybe you take your time on it the first time, maybe you don't, but you don't score very well. So then you blast through the next nine retakes, because you get ten all together. Um, you blast through the next nine in about 30 seconds each, which is obviously not doing your best. You can't take one of those quizzes in 30 seconds. So don't do that for the test. What ends up happening? If I go in... Because Edgenuity says, uh, hey, alert, this student needs uh, some help on a retake. And I go in and I look at it, and it tells me how long you took on it. And if you have nine retakes that you did in 30 seconds or whatever, I'm just taking your highest score that you did. Um, and if it's a 30 or a 40 or a 50 or whatever, that's the score you're getting. So don't just waste them. Now, if you had nine retakes and you're taking a lot of time and you're trying your best and all that kind of stuff. Um, and, and it shows, I can look at all that stuff. I can drill in and look at all that. Then we can look at maybe adding a retake or two, but I very rarely ever have had a student who tried nine times or 10 times altogether and needed more retakes. So keep that in mind. The test is a bigger part of your, your grade. So you wanna do well on the test, take your time. That's the only thing we're doing this week. So once you're done with it, you're done. Don't waste the retakes. That's what I was just talking about. And once you're done, you're done. So uh, those of you who are on track and you're ready to take the test, you probably have 30 minutes of work this week, and then you can go enjoy the sunshine for most of the days. A couple of days, you're going to get some rain. But most of the day is going to be sunny, a bit warmer this week. Go outside and enjoy it doing whatever you do outside. Also, don't forget, come visit us during the Google Meets on Mondays and Wednesdays from 1030 to 11. We do not make these mandatory. You do not, listen, listen, we do not have to come to these meetings. I'm still getting emails from students and parents asking if we have to come to them. You do not have to come to these. They are strictly optional. But I like to see what you guys are up to. I think some of you enjoy seeing some other live people on a screen, at least. Uh, somebody other than your annoying little brother or sister. So 1030 to 11, every Monday and Wednesday. Uh, so far, it's been every Monday and Wednesday. And 1030 is when we start. If you need to set your alarm, do that. I know here it is already 920 in the morning. And... Um, realistically, probably 90% of you are sleeping right now. So when I get this out, hopefully if you wake up in time, you can come join us. I put the codes out just before the meeting starts. Otherwise, um, the meetings are open and nobody's there. You know, I'm not there <laughs> for the meeting. So I can't put the codes out until we're ready to start. I also put the codes into Skyward. So Parents have the codes as well. If a, parent had, if a parent wanted to drop in and ask questions, that's awesome too. If you want to ask questions about a class, this is absolutely a great time to do it. But if you just want to 
come in to look at some other people for a half an hour, that's fine too. We talk about what people are watching on TV. We talk about your pets. We talk about all kinds of stuff um, that has nothing to do with class. And it's really just so we can all remember who's out there in the world. Okay. So um, that's coming up 1030 today and then 1030 on Wednesday. If you don't make today's, don't worry about it. It wasn't mandatory. But you can set your alarm for Wednesday if you'd like. I will see you guys then.